Andrew. Let's take a look at my comfort index for today's first alert weather day. Another day where we're splitting it right down the middle. Five out of ten outside of the wind. And as long as you're not burning anything outside overall, it's going to be another great day to maybe do some exercise outside. Maybe extend that walk or lunch break outside for today as well. But we do want to first alert that it's going to be another gusty day out there. And that's going to lead to high fire danger once again across Michigan for this Wednesday's first alert weather day. And also near record high temperatures for today as well. Uh, the Record high set back at 81 degrees back in 1950, and we're going to get close to breaking that record or at least tying that record high later on today. I have also this morning extended the first alert weather day into Halloween morning, and it's all due to the wind headed our way again today. Some gusts around 35 to 45 miles per hour, leading to high fire concerns once again across Michiana. Any outdoor burning or flames should be avoided on a day like today. And then for Halloween, we're going to be looking at a very strong cold front arriving during Halloween morning. Morning. Could have some widespread gusts 40 to 50 during the morning commute. Maybe an isolated quick damaging wind gust to 50 miles per hour for one or two communities with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Here's a look at our wind gust trend for this first alert weather day. Could have a few gusts around 40 miles per hour later on this morning, early afternoon. And then Thursday, we're going to time out a very strong cold front arriving in the morning hours. And that means some wind gusts into the 40s. But look at 9 a.m. How we briefly shut off that wind briefly. That's the cold front actually moving on through, which will drop our high temperatures as we go throughout Halloween afternoon. Timing out this system, it's still developing off to our west right now, but moving this into motion here with first alert weather future track. Here we are paused later this evening at 7 p.m. Still quiet here at home. All the action just off to our west and watch this closely here as we get closer towards the Thursday morning commute. We're going to watch as this gusty cold front begins to arrive and that's going to bring with it some showers and thunderstorms and again gust around 40 to 50 miles per hour as that does begin to work its way through Michigan. The good news cold front arrives around noon and behind this cold front we're going to see things changing quickly where we're going to dry out as we head right on in to the trick or treating forecast for the evening hours timing this out for you hour by hour for tomorrow evening. The kiddos do not need to plan for any rain with the costumes, but we are still going to look at the breeze still kicking on up. Expect trick or treating around four or five o'clock to begin with temperatures in the 50s, eventually falling down into the 40s once we get past sunset. You know, I looked it up on our website WNDU.com. You can click right on trick or treat times and you know, a few of them, a few of these communities held it last weekend. Right. A few of them are waiting until Friday night, but the bulk of everyone, it's tomorrow night from 5 to 7. So, again, you can go to our website. And the good news, the out. rain's going to be out of here for yeah. the evening. That rain should end by about 1 p.m. for tomorrow for Halloween. So that's good news for the trick-or-treaters out oh, there. Oh, and share with your parents, kids. It's, it's the nice thing to do, really. Really, just really. keeps everybody happy. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. 522. Hey, a Florida woman's quick thinking led to her placing a fake phone call for a pizza delivery. But as Pamela Combe reports,